Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to embed your advanced roadmap in Jira inside of Confluence. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Before we jump into the video, a couple of announcements. One, if you're making it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe because it's absolutely free. It really, really does help out the channel. So smash that red button and hit subscribe today. Also, I now have merch. I have t-shirts. So if you're interested in getting this super awesome I Love Jura shirt, check out the link in the description below. I have a couple of other designs. Hopefully you like one, get one, buy a couple, get one for your coworkers, show them off around the office, nerd out, geek out, have some fun with it. Hope you enjoy these t-shirts. All right, let's jump into the video. Just to kind of level set what we're talking about here, I am talking about an advanced roadmap. This will only work if you have Jira Premium. Okay, that means you need to have the advanced roadmap capability. But if you have that capability, you will see plans up here, and then you will have a plan, hopefully. This also prerequisite, you should have an existing plan in order to embed it in Confluence. Otherwise, you gotta put the cart before the horse type of thing. So make sure you create a plan, take your plan, this is my plan, this is just whatever plan you have, any plan will work, and you will see a button over here on the right hand side that says share as. If you click on that button, you will then have a couple of options. You can just take the link, which is okay, but you will see that you have a specific Confluence link over here. Now, before we get there, I should also probably address that not only do you have the link and not only do you have Confluence, but you can also embed. So you have some code there with an iframe. You also have a CSV, so you can export your entire plan to CSV. And then finally, if you have non-paying stakeholders that would like to see your advanced roadmap, you can export it as an image as well. And you can play around with those configurations per your requirements. But for the focus of this video, we're going to be sticking to Confluence. And so all you got to do is click on this generate link and then hit copy. Once you hit copy, all you got to do is open up a new tab or just go over to your Confluence. So I'm going to go over to my Confluence. And once you're in there, you're just going to go wherever you want to go. I'm going to go into this demo space here. And then you want to edit. So you want to click on your little pencil. Again, put this wherever it makes sense for you. I'm just sticking it somewhere in Confluence. But ideally, you want to have a place where your stakeholders come. The reason why you should even consider embedding your advanced roadmap into Confluence is because when you're in Jira, you have to go to a few different places. You can go to the reports to see your sprint burn down. You can go to the dashboard to see some other metrics. You can see your backlog. You can see the sprint board itself. And then you can go to this advanced roadmaps and then see the advanced roadmaps. But as you can see, you're clicking in a variety of different places. In Confluence, you can kind of aggregate it all in one view. And so this is very beneficial if you have like an executive or VP, somebody of that caliper who just doesn't want to go through the, through the nuisance of clicking on all these different links to get the data that they're looking for. So rather than having them go to 20 different links, you can put everything in one Confluence page, an executive dashboard, if you will, and have them see everything. And so from here, all you got to do is come down here and pick a spot where you're going to put this in. I'm just going to put it right here. And you're just going to paste in your advanced roadmap from the link that was generated. And as you can see, it starts putting it in here. And then once you hit publish, this is probably the coolest part. Once you hit publish and you scroll down all the way down to it, it's actually live. It's not like a static thing. It's a very much real thing that people can interact with and expand. And pretty much whatever configuration you had set up in your plan, it's preserved. And then you can open it back up if you want to go over there. You can open up in a full tab if you want to see it in bigger. It's kind of a really cool thing. The last final caveat here is your individual that is going to be using these, they do need to have the license to both Jira and Confluence. Most folks, that's okay because most folks get both anyways. But just thought I'd let you know that in case you're like, oh, this will save me some licenses. Not really. You're going to have to still pay the license for Jira so that you can do this. But it's this is more of a convenience so that you don't have to go hunting. Because if you remember, when you're inside of Jira, this could be pretty daunting, right? Like It can be pretty, pretty intimidating, especially if you have a large organization with a lot of plans. How do you know which plan is the right plan? So you can just kind of put it all in one spot and let your right stakeholders like be able to visualize that data. Anyways, this is a pretty quick video. I just wanted to show you how to do this. It's a pretty commonly requested question that I get. 
And so I wanted to just let you know. If you made it this far, you haven't subscribed, again, I want to remind you that it's completely free. No commitment, no credit card required. Just smash that red button. 80% of you watching these videos aren't hitting that red button. So do me a favor, do you a favor, so that you get notified and so that you know that I'm dropping new videos and more amazing content for you. Smash the subscribe button. And if you really, really like my shirt, please make sure you check out the description. Check the link in the description below as it contains the place where you can go and get the shirt, help support the channel, help geek out, show off to your coworkers, show off to the internet. I don't know. Buy it for yourself. Buy it for your wife. Buy it for whoever you want. Buy it for your husband. Buy it for a coworker. Buy it for your children. I don't know. We have all kinds of sizes. And just show it off. Help support the channel. Have a little fun with it. And thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now